وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا He's a Christian, but he uh, I like that AK, man. Look at you. Uh, my favorite wife. Really? I'm an AK guy too, but my son's been trying to give me where they are, man. Nah, 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 nah. We keep it real, huh? Yeah, the AK. Nice. That's, that's a freedom fighter. That, that is, that is, that is a hardcore weapon. Yes, sir. Nice. So, what do you believe now? You believe, you believe in God. Yes, so what does that mean, as Christians? Um, so, like I was just telling my man today, I'm in the process of. I'm no longer believing uh, a certain denomination of Christianity. You're on your way. You're on your way, brother. I'm no like longer it. like a Baptist or Protestant. I'm not Methodist or Joe Witness or Mormon or Catholic or none of them. Specifically to us to be holy. Okay, good. So that's where I'm at right now. Nice. So I'm just, you know, I'm kind of back. Do you, do you believe God is one? There is only one God, yes. Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. Do you believe that God sent messengers like Moses and Abraham and Jesus? Absolutely. Right. That's the Muslim belief, right? Now, 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 let's Muslim go. Beliefs, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yusuf, bring my Bible. The one thing he said in the car was he believes that Jesus is uh, God in human form. I got you, I got you. That's why I'm bringing the Bible. Relax. As soon as he said that, I was. Yeah, yeah, we good. Sean, right? Yes, sir. That's cool, man. That's cool. So, do you believe God knows everything? There is it. Of course, God is all knowing, yes. right? So Jesus, when he was on earth, was he God? In the form, a God in the form of a man. Okay. So in the Bible, it says we see here Jesus who was made a little lower than angels, right? Because he was in flesh. Yeah. Okay. So is God lower than angels? No. All right. So then Jesus on earth wasn't God, right? Because you just said right. God is not lower than angels, and Jesus was made lower than God, right? right. Than angels. So what do you think about that? I think I think that's uh, what it depends what Bible you read from because the, the closest thing to me in Scripture is the New King James version. That's, that's exactly what I have. Okay, all right. Let, so let me let me just show you. Make sure. Yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. Uh, so I believe now. Yeah, I'm not a scholar, and I'm, I'm on my no, journey. No, I got you. New King James. Version. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think in, I think in that Scripture it's made to determine that he was made lower than the angels because he was flesh. Okay. So, but then you would agree that at that time on earth, he was no longer God because he was lower than angels, right? I, think, I still... Ah. See, that doesn't really make sense, right, Sean? I mean, earlier you said God can't be lower than angels. That is true. And then you said Jesus, according to the Bible that you believe in, is lower than angels. No, so he, no, I, I, don't, I don't believe Jesus is lower than angels. No, but, but that's what the Bible says. He was made lower than angels, right? We just read it together. We did. Okay, so... Uh, you want to read it again? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, open right. my mind, man. I'm all uh, for it. That's what I'm here for, yeah, bro. All for it. All look, 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 look. I, I mean this with nothing but love for you. Bro. Of course, yeah. I've man. been through the same thing. I went through churches. I went through Methodists. And, and I was at a point where I was like you, where I was like, okay, I'm going to still study the Bible, but I'm not going to be part of any denomination. And alhamdulillah, Muslim today, where you're going to be soon. I got you. I got you, bro. I got you. I'm open to everything. Uh, I know you are. You're, you're a good guy, man. So here. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than angels, right? So when you see Jesus on earth being made lower than angels, then at that moment, at least you could agree that he couldn't be God, right? But what is your definition of a little bit lower? The Bible's definition. I mean, it's I mean, not the, my that's, definition, that's right? Okay, let's do But, but do, you, do you believe that God is a little bit lower than angels? No, God is above our angels. Of course, 100%. And then me and you have the same definition, oh, course, right? Okay. All right, let's, let's take some more of the Bible, right? Now, in the Bible, in John 17, 3, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you, the only true God, sent. Right? So Jesus didn't say they get to know us, or me, or I. He said you, and then he said the only true God. You feel me? Right? And then he said that one only true God sent Jesus Christ. This is the one we were young Don and we talked about. Do you believe the only way through heaven is through Jesus Christ? I do not. Let me tell you why. Right? Okay. What about the people that were there before Jesus? Abraham, Moses, you know, Noah, right? They, their way to heaven was through the prophet of their time. In the time of Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, we love him. The way to heaven was through following Jesus. He was the prophet of the time. 
And in the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he is the Prophet of his time. So every Prophet is the way to God in his time. So in Jesus' time, no doubt, the only way to get to God was through the Prophet of the time. But this is where we have to understand that people before Jesus, right? For example, you believe in Noah. Yes. Right? The people of Noah didn't know Jesus, right? Okay. They followed Noah. That was the way to God. There were believers with him that got on the boat, right? Okay. So they didn't know Jesus, but they got to God through Noah, the people of Abraham. Well, let me ask you this guy. So, again, I'm not a Muslim. No, but, no, no. You, um, will, you will be. Don't worry about it. Muslims, be, uh, it's, it's, it's said that a prophet cannot lie, right? Of prophet, course, he can't lie. One hundred percent. So when Jesus actually says, "I am the way, I'm the, I'm the way to get to heaven," Excellent. he's not lying. So when I asked you, I just I asked you, is that the uh, Jesus is the only way to get to heaven? You said no. Beautiful qu question, Sean. That's why I like you, man. You, you got, you're thinking, bro. First thing I like is that you said Jesus is a prophet. We, we making progress. Oh, I'm as a Muslim. As I, a got Muslim. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Right. But now, first thing is this Bible that we have today is not yep. the words of Jesus, right? The reason I'm quoting this to you is because you said this is what you believe in. Right. But if you look at the history of the Bible, right. this was something written centuries later in Kone Greek by anonymous authors that gave names to chapters that aren't even in the chapter. Meaning the Gospel of Luke doesn't say that Luke wrote it. The Gospel of John, even like Hebrews, even a study Bible will tell you that's anonymous. Okay. Right? So the true message of Jesus, what we call the Injil, today is lost. We don't have that. What we have is the Kone Greek writings. The oldest complete or semi-complete manuscript is called Codex Sinaiticus. That's fourth century, right? So what I'm saying is a lot what you find in here is not really from God, right? This is the mistakes of men. And I'll show you some in a minute. Sure. Contradictions that you will see that no doubt somebody changed it up and got stuff wrong in it. It's, it's been rewritten a few times. I agree with that. There you I, go. I, I, I the Bible. There's, there's a few different There you Bible. go. So I, I, now, the Quran never rewritten. Never. One message in the original language. Where, where's the Warner at? Right here, yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Though. I got you. We're going we're gonna to recite some Quran for you to show you how it was preserved. So let me ask you this. Uh, what was the question I had? Uh, he said. Uh, I had it right on top of my head. I didn't want to it. All right, let, let me show you some verses while you think about it, right? Now, does God know everything? Of course. Okay, good. We agree on that. Right? Yeah, all right, all right. So this is in Mark 13, 32. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Right. So the hour, does Jesus know the hour? <laughs> But again, uh -huh, it's interpretation uh -huh. because All right, Jesus, go ahead. God, go ahead. Was, Jesus go ahead. was the God was the form of Jesus was the form of God, nor the Son. Read, read it for me. All right. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the sun, nor only the, the sun. Father. I get you, yeah. So Jesus didn't know the hour. He couldn't. He couldn't have. Right? Because of only the Bible says, only the Father. I give and you. earlier we agreed that God knows everything. Absolutely. So Jesus can't be God. According to your own definition. Come on, Sean. Be honest with me now, man. I, I want to see. Think, I want to. I want. I want to see. I'm there. I think I'm not strong there. enough in the word to. No, 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 bro. Go back with look, it. Look, 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 look. It's very simple. It's not. It's not about being eloquent in speech or no, anything. No, not at all. Right? Not at all. Me and you, and from your, what we call your natural state, from your fitrah and from the Bible, we know God knows everything. Nothing is hidden to God. Nothing is concealed from God. God is all-knowing, all-powerful, all-capable, right? Right. And the Bible, that you, again, this is the same version that you believe in, it says, but of that day and hour, no one knows, not even, now again, if that was enough, it clarifies, not even the angels in heaven, nor the sun. Jesus is called out here, right? According to the Bible, right? But only the Father. Wait, right? Here the Son can also mean the Son of God, Son of God, Son of God. Alright. We, we won't know that, so that could be referred to man. Does it say Son? What? Does I'm, it say, it says the Son. And it's capitalized by the people who okay. put it forward okay. as Jesus. I'm, and I, I, every I, commentator, including McCarthy, I've read them, all agree that this is a reference to Son, meaning Jesus. Let me ask you this though. Go ahead. So, even when uh, when Jesus is when the Jesus ascends to heaven, and God lets him know that I'm going to leave a helper, okay, to, uh, to to continue the message, okay, whether the Holy Spirit 
or a, or some people, some Muslims believe it was the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, peace be upon you. You know, it's a good question. The first thing is that when we talk about biblical interpretation, right, you're going to have different opinions. Right? Is that a reference to the Prophet Muhammad? Peace be upon you. It could be. Is it a reference to the Holy Ghost? It could be. I haven't done enough research to say that, but I will say that what we find in this Bible to the point that it shows very clearly that Jesus is not God, right? And I'll show you that this Bible is not preserved. It's not preserved in its original message, right? And I'm going to show you some verses right now, right? Here in 1 Chronicles 21.5. Then Job gave the sum of the number of the people to David. All Israel had was 1,100,000. How many did Israel have? One million one hundred thousand men who drew the sword, and Judah had four hundred and seventy thousand men who drew the sword. Okay, so you remember those numbers, right? Now, in the same Bible, when we go to Second Samuel. Right? 24, 9. Then Job gave the sum of the number of the people to the king, King David. And there were in Israel 800,000 valiant men who drew the sword. And the men of Judah were 500,000. You, you see, I see the this is 800,000 of Israel and 500 of Judah. Same Job, same David. And here it's 1,100,000 and so now, many biblical commentators say, this was a mistake. These are different accounts from different men, and they made a mistake, right? Now, I'll show you another one. This is one me and Sneeko used before. But. Ahia Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. Okay? And his mother was Ataliyah, the granddaughter of Umri. Okay? So Ahia Isaiah was how old? 22? And he reigned one year, right? So it's not like he reigned twice. And his mother is Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umri. You feel me? How you doing? Good, good. Here in 2 Chronicles 22.2, Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king. And he reigned one year in Jerusalem, same one year. And his mother was Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umri. Okay. You see that to be a contradiction? Well, let me actually... I, I, I want to show you something actually, because me and him were talking to somebody, and somebody was saying, oh no, he ruled twice, right? Yeah. Something funny here, look. His Another. father, his father was 32 years old when he became king. 32 years old. 32 years old, and he reigned in Jerusalem eight years, right? Yeah. So 32 plus eight is what? 40. And no one had sorrow when he departed. When he died, nobody cared. However, they hurried, they hurried him to the city of David, but not to the tombs of the kings. I got you. We'll, we'll talk in a minute. Thank you. And then the inhabitants of Jerusalem made Isaiah his youngest son the king. They hurried to make his son the king. How old was he died? 40. And how old was his son? 42. 42, yeah. So how can, this, how yeah. can your son... Your youngest son be two years older than you. You see that whole argument of rolling twice gets destroyed right here. You feel me? This, this will definitely it's okay, but let me ask you this though. Go ahead. Where in where in scripture did you find the word Muslim in the Bible? It was, it was never actually, mentioned. Actually, of course it was. Good question, actually. What is a Muslim? I'm assuming because I'm not a yeah, believer in I God. You. you don't believe in God? I said okay. I, I'm, I'm assuming because I'm not oh, a Muslim. Okay, okay. I'm a believer in God. Believer in God. A Muslim comes from the word Aslama in Arabic, which means to submit. So when you submit yourself to your Creator, you're a Muslim, right? For example, the word Israel used for Yahoo Jacob in Hebrew. When you look at the meaning, is the one who submits, the one who is the slave and the submitter to God. So that word in Arabic would be Muslim, right? So when you're looking at Hebrew words and Arabic words, you have to look at the meaning. So no doubt, every prophet that said, I submit myself to my creator in accordance with the Arabic language would be a Muslim. Right, now question, I, this is something you I see on me? social media. Uh, I, I mean, no disrespect. No, 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 don't, don't feel shy, ask anything. 
from I seen something that was posted, right? Yeah, and it yeah. said uh, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. His uh, his last words. What, what was his last words? To, he reminded the people to make their prayers. Salah, salah. It was something else about something like I'm not the one or the way or something yeah, like that. It, there's no such thing. Yeah. Again, like I yeah. said, that's what I'm. You know, no, don't, don't trust social media. Right? I, I, but the don't. Prophet's last words was to remind his nation to stick to the scripture and his way, and he reminded them as salah, as salah, the prayer, the prayer. And Jesus' right? last words was, "I am the way into heaven. Right. I am the I am the way." Once again, so the, those words you're taking from the Bible, right? And we've already shown the Bible's corrupted. Right? We, we, we can say certain it's been rewritten. But, but they're, those are clear contradictions, right? They, they're both. You can't be twenty. How old are you? If you don't mind 38. me, asking. 38. You look young, bro. You look young. All right. Now you're 38, right? If he comes and says you're 28, right? And I say you're 38, one of us is wrong, right? So either you're 22 or 42. So one of them has. Either Israel had 1 million 100 or 800 thousand, right? How did Judas die? He was hung. All right. Now check this out. Now this. Man so those are now contradictions even in the theology of when Jesus was betrayed, right? In the same Bible, it says Jesus is the son of man, right? If you go to the Old Testament, it says God is not the son of man. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man. So the Bible God says is God. Yeah. God is not the son of man. And if the Bible says Jesus is the son of man, how could he be God? Say that one more time. All right. God is not a man, okay. nor a son of man. Okay. Right here in Numbers 23. I never saw this one. Yeah. It I says, so what verse is this? This is Numbers 23, 19. God is, he, not a man God is not a man that he that should, should lie, lie, nor a son of man, nor son of man, that he should repent. So God is not a man, nor, nor, nor is he son of man, right? But then the Bible. Wait, but what is that? Maybe it's out of context, like that he should lie. Of course, that men they make mistakes, they lie, but God is not a man; he's perfect. So because right? a God can't make mistakes. Of course, and God is not the son of a man. You're not son of man, and you can even see clearly says son of man, right? Now, in the same Bible, when you go into the New Testament, it says Jesus is the Son of Man. He's called the Son of Man. Right? So, right? But he, being, being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into the into the heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at his right hand and he said look I see heaven open and the son of man Jesus the son of man standing at the right hand of God son of man so Jesus is called the son of man and the Bible says God is not the son of man so that's Jesus, the best interpretation but how right it, it, individuals what, interpretation. what's your father's name God. So your father. Oh, Evan. Evan, right? Evan. If I say you're the son of Evan, and I say he is not the son of Evan, that's a very clear statement, right? Now, sometimes son is used in endearment, right? Okay. Like, for example, you see a young man, you tell him, come here, son, let me talk to you. Yeah. Right? Or you see a priest, you say, forgive me, father, for I have sinned. Right? Right? But you don't mean that he's your physical father. No. Right? In that sense, many people are called sons of God. In the Bible, for example, it says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men. This is Genesis 6-2. But they're not physically the sons of God, right? Once you become a believer, you're now a son of God. Okay, so in that sense, me and you, in that sense, would be sons of God as believers. Right. So in that sense, if you say Jesus was a believer of God, I'm with you, right? But when you say that Jesus is God, that goes against your own scripture. You feel me? Because man can't, yeah, I understand what you're saying, because man can't, man can't do the miracle. Right. So when Jesus is healing, that is God in the form of it. No, no, no. When Moses split the ocean, did that mean that was oh, God that, in the form of Moses? But, but that's coming from when man actually had interaction with God. All the prophets had interaction with God. When the prophet Muhammad split the moon, would that mean he is God? No. no, no when no. Abraham was thrown in the fire and didn't burn, 
Does that mean he is God? No. The miracles are from God, but it is the slaves of God, the prophets of God that manifest them with the power of God. But that doesn't make them God. You know, when Noah was in the boat and in the boat, everything else drowned, but not him. That was a miracle from God, but that doesn't mean Noah is God. Well, let me ask you, so do you believe that in Judaism, Muslim, and Christianity, uh, the Abrahamic religions. Abraham is the, the like kind of like the the, the agreement, like the one of the people we, we, we can agree on. Well, I mean, I think we agree on more than that, right? Well, I mean, just Moses, people, yeah. Abraham, Noah, Adam, we agree on all of them, right? And even just even I'm tell about Jesus who he was coming. No, I could have swore. It, it no, no, there, there is a verse where Jesus says there will be a comforter sent after me, and he will be like me. Jews don't believe that was Jesus, right? Somebody could say that that is the meaning of Jesus. Somebody could say that's the Prophet Muhammad. But if you look at being like Moses, Moses had a father and mother, right? He wasn't born miraculously, right? So if you're going to say that, then I would say the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is closer to being like Moses, born of natural world, prophet of God, miracles, than Jesus was, right? But you can't give your own meaning, right? But when you but, say close, yeah. like Moses was actually... Ascended into heaven and saw God. Did the Prophet Muhammad be the one? Did he see of face course. to face of God? Again, we believe that Jesus, Moses, Muhammad were all prophets. They all had their miracles. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he went on Al Isra al Mi'raj. He went from Mecca to Madid to Aqsa to Palestine. And in one night, he went up to the seventh heaven and God spoke to him directly above. Now, the glory of God is that there is a whale, right? There is light between us. In this world, we can't see God. Even Moses couldn't look at God directly, right? But as Moses spoke directly to God, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, went up above the seventh heaven to the throne and spoke directly to God. Well, in Christianity, it's taught that the reason why Moses has the white hair and the white beard is because he was able to lay his eyes on him. It's not in the Bible. Like, this is all stuff that gets made up, right? Now, the thing is, even when, when God reflected his light at the, at the side of the mountain, Moses fainted. You know, nobody can see directly God in this world. That's in the hereafter, right? And Moses, he had a father, he had a mother, like the Prophet Muhammad did. He's a blessing on both of them. He had miracles, he split the ocean. That doesn't make him God, that just means the power of God. Just like that, the Prophet Muhammad split the moon. That doesn't make him God, it makes him a prophet of God, right? Now let me give you an idea. One God, one creator, no man, no son, no father, no, no roommates, no power sharing, no wife, none of that. Send this message through prophets like Abraham, like Moses, like Jesus, like Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. That tells you what are the Ten Commandments? What's the first commandment? Hear, O Israel, your Lord is? One, not three, not two, one, right? Second commandment, don't worship idols. You know, when you go to church, what do you see today? In a lot of times you go see idols. Idols. You go to a mosque, you ever seen an idol? Never. Never, right? So we follow that true message, the, the message of Jesus, the message of Abraham, the message of Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them, and worship the one God Jesus worships. Right? Now Jesus prayed, right? And he said, He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. He calls God my God. Right? That's a personal relationship. Right, exactly. Right. My God. He didn't say, I am God. He said, make you a pillar in the, in the temple of my God. Right. So when Jesus prays to that one God, right? In the Bible, the Father. When we pray, why not pray to the Father, to that one God? But true Christians, they do pray to one God. Yeah, but no one's praying. There, people do pray to Jesus. They're they praying do. to Jesus because Jesus was the sin. He, he was the, the payment for our sin. So you can't... You, you tell can't, me about that. What does that mean? So, for example, I'm going to speak it very bluntly. Please. Because I can't really... I, I like so, blunt. So I'm thinking, the way I'm interpreting it, God was so done with the earth, I'm going to kill everything off. Okay. Jesus comes on our behalf to say, you know what, look, give him one more chance. All right. I'm going to sacrifice myself and accept all these people. Like, on, on, my, on, my, on my death, I'm taking everything down. I feel you. So, God is like, you know what, this is your 
you you taking them? Every prayer, everything has to come through you. So even when I'm praying, God, give me a script in the name of Jesus. Okay. Allow me to have script to get through anything I have. I got you. So that's why I'm, so my interpretation is all your prayers are sent through Jesus. I got you. To God. So let's let's talk about that concept first. You believe God is just, right? Absolutely. All just, right? Now you live in the US, right? Right now we're in Compton, you know, Englewood, South Central, these areas, right? LA. Now in these areas, there's a lot of crime. Yeah. Right? Murders, rapes, robberies. Let's say you, you go to a judge and you say, all these guys, they've been killing, raping, gangbanging, selling drugs, all of this stuff. And the judge says, you know what? I'm going to let all of them go free. And my innocent son, this son, that has never done anything wrong. 4.0 student, great kid, never did anything wrong. I'm gonna have you guys, you murderers, come together and torture and kill him, and that sets you all free. Would any judge accept that? Would you think that's just? That we kill an innocent man, I mean, just justice, right? But we're using the word sacrifice. Okay, again, so like, let's say a judge here says, my son is willing to commit suicide, right? Well, if you there's no head for suicide. So if Jesus let himself get killed, that's suicide, right? Well, he was murdered. No, no, but he allowed it, right? He could have stopped it, right? He's not supposed to wait. Christians are not, are, not, are not told to fight back. That's why they say, oh, you know, turn the other cheek. when you get slapped, you're supposed to get slapped 70 times. You agree Bro. with that, turning the other cheek? No. You don't agree? <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe in it, but All right, I believe in it, but I struggle with it. Right. All right, I would say, if I can, I would say the major difference between Christianity and Islam is that in Islam we believe Islam is perfect. All Muslims believe that everything that's written in the Quran is perfect, and there's nothing. We don't struggle to believe anything that's written there. I, I that was one of the big ones for me too. Turning the other cheek because I completely disagree. In Islam, correct me if I'm wrong. We believe in, in fighting back and in defending. Look, let, let me ask you, Sean. Just tell me as a person. No, forget Christian. Okay? I walk up to you and I'm slap you. There'll be a, there'll be a, a reaction. You're Muslim. That's what a Muslim does. That's what your job no, 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 is, your security. On, on, on. For, for, forget your job. Even. I'm telling you as a person. But what I'm saying is, would that just be a man? Well, without a title, I agree. I'll be a man first. So, so when a Christian says, turn the other cheek, that's not a man. The word in your word, but Christians aren't. But that's, that in the, that's in the word. Turn the other cheek. The word so is that's perfect. Not, like the first thing, no, we're not. We've already established the word is not perfect. We I, talk think, about I, think that, right? I think maybe. Now, you tell me this. You're saying Jesus came here to be killed, right? He came to save. To save. So, and at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out loud, voice saying, Iluhi, Iluhi, Lama Sabachanatini, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why have you left me? Yes. Why, why would Jesus feel that he's been forsaken if the idea was for him to die? Because he knew at that time he was separated from God because of the acceptance. Okay. So, so he didn't know that was the message, that was the plan? I don't think, and I mean, when like, Jesus in the Bible says, Oh God, take when, this cup away from me. So we just saw it there. Yeah. No one knows God's plan. Not Jesus either, right? No one knows God's plan, not Jesus. So Jesus is not God. That's it. You, you, yeah, that's, your the words, bro. that's your word. That's your word. That's your word, bro. You said no one knows God's I think plan. I, need, I think I can. Yes. And no Jesus one didn't know the plan. That's what you just admitted to, right? Well, well wait, wait, wait a minute, because that, wait a minute, because at one point in time, when he knew he was going to be betrayed, he did leave and go pray to prepare for what was, what was going to show. But then he asked up, God to take that cup away from him, right? You real quick. He, he asked God to take that away from him. He take said, Father, take this away from me, but it's not as I will, but as you will. Right. So he's ask, so he's asking God to take this punishment, this this cup of this misery that's gonna take away from him. But done. if but if that was the plan, why would he be saying to God, take it away from me? But see, but that isn't that like the ultimate sacrifice of love? If you sacrifice your only begotten son, I would not. Let me tell you why. Let would. me tell you why. Because I believe that's not justice. If I wanted to forgive mankind, I believe an all loving, forgiving God can forgive man. Without minute, killing his son. But, but you just said Abraham, he was willing to sacrifice his son in the name of God. Excellent. Good question. Did he kill him? He was he was, uh, he was willing so now, to now, hold, on, hold on. But hold God on. wouldn't want you to do point that. Out. So God wouldn't want you to kill an innocent son? Right. Why would he kill his own innocent son? I think that was to prove his sacrifice. No, no. You said God would not want you to sacrifice your innocent son. Humans. Right. 
So isn't man. God more just than us? Of course, 100%. So now, I believe Jesus was sent on earth as a messenger. I believe people wanted to sacrifice him like Abraham was going to sacrifice Ishmael. But God saved Ishmael the same way God saved Jesus. And as the lamb was killed in place of Ishmael, not the son of Abraham, like that somebody else was sacrificed, but not Jesus. He was protected like Ishmael was protected. Just like God wouldn't let Abraham kill his innocent son, he would never do something unjust. Now, killing an innocent person to me is unjust. Of course. To me, a loving, forgiving God, like as a Muslim, when I sin, I don't have to kill somebody. I just go and I ask for repentance and Allah forgives. Right? Now, you tell me this. Can God, the Creator, not... Little big brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing little about him, though. You know, like, not at all. Can't check that out, right? God loves us. Of course. Right? He created us. Right? Okay. Out of that, God, out of His mercy, can forgive any sin. Absolutely. If you repent to God, He can forgive you. Right? What do you yeah. think about that? Certain things I think are unforgivable. God won't. Like what? He uses certain terms in the Bible as abomination. Like, like what? Homosexuality. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I think those, right. I think, but, but I think those say, right there. If a homosexual repents, like he leaves that lifestyle. But if he does it, he is considered an abomination and it's unforgivable. I'm, I'm with you on that one. But if Jesus died for his sins, then is he forgiven? So that gay homosexual child molester goes you, to heaven you can't, you can't, because you, he prayed through Jesus? You can't be a homosexual and believe in Jesus. Why not? I know it, many. It, it, it's, it's, nah, bro, nah, Sean, you make they're, it. They're, they're, listen, not, listen, they're, they're not I'm going to take you to some churches right now with some rainbow flags, right? <laughs> oh, right? Well, well, I'll stop for a lot. What, what I'm saying is, right? According to Christian doctrine, Jesus died for everybody's sins, right? right? So if it's a homosexual child rapist, but he believes in praising Jesus. Jesus paid the price, so he's going to heaven. No, why not? Because if that was the case, we would all go around sinning and just it'd just be a cash hey, that, When I was a gangster, that's exactly what we did. We no, went that, around sinning and because said Jesus died for our sins, right? No, but but if you say Jesus died for the sins of mankind, he took the price. Then why would we be all the held accountable? But, but that doesn't give you the go ahead to continue. This why not? Because Where's that in the Bible? That's just, that's contradiction. Like good. Good. It is contradiction. contradiction. Exactly. So as a Muslim, we say. Nobody dies for your sins. You need to be accountable for your sins. If you're a homosexual, I'm going to use another word. I don't want to be canceled, right? If you're a uh, right? right? Okay, you're, 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 no, 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 well, well, but you can say it's okay. I'll say whatever I want anyway, right? If you and you're out there doing that kind of stuff, right? I'm saying, I'm real. I'm saying, that's a Muslim belief. Because Jesus didn't die for your sins, you will be held accountable for your sins. Right? But a Christian would say, well, Jesus died for his sins. So a murderer, a rapist. Well, uh, yeah, go you, ahead. You can, have, you can have atheists who believe that if you're homosexual, you go to hell. You can have Christians, you can have Buddhists who all believe that. But that doesn't mean that they're Muslim. We can all share that same uh, thought process. But, it doesn't mean you're but Muslim. Your, your belief that a homosexual doesn't get his sin forgiven because of Jesus' death and is held accountable for his sin is a Muslim belief. Let me, let me, a lot of what you're saying, like, like about slapping and turning the other cheek. Your belief is a Muslim belief. Your scripture tells you turn the other cheek. You said that's not a man. But even it, it you may you look feel at me it, or no? Even it, you to, feel to me, off that, I'm not perfect. So just because I know you're not. The scripture says but, but, that, but is, I'm not perfect. But is that concept perfect? That somebody slaps you, you turn the other cheek. If you're going to be a Christian, that's what's going to have to be. But that's not perfect, right? Because you agreed that you'd be a man to a Christian. in your eyes, Sean. Come on, bro. If I want to change, Come on, man. Into the, into Come the world, on, man. Can I ask Anything. you a question, a follow-up quickly? Okay. Do you believe that anything in the Quran is imperfect? Nothing. 100% perfect. Okay. 100%. 100%. And, and I got a Quran read. right here. If anybody wants to challenge it, I'm here. Oh, yeah, I've, not, I've never no, read no, it. No, no, but tell me this. You've already yeah. seen mistakes. Numeric contradictions, right? Okay. That you agreed that, that they can't be both correct, right? Okay. He's, either Judas hung himself or he fell. Either it was 22 or 42. Either it was a million and 100,000. Okay. Those are right. things. So those show that this is not perfect, right? The Bible, Come on. The, the true Bible Come on. is perfect, but again, it's been, re, it's been rewritten. The New King James Version that you said is not perfect, right? The Bible. Uh, can, we, can we move here for the music? Let's yeah, move, let's yeah, move yeah, closer yeah. down. I want to I wanna, I wanna again emphasize that this was not prepared, right? I let you choose, all right? Now you see the transliteration. Now you can see how the Arabic would sound in English, okay? okay. Now it's going to begin with this here, all right? Five first verses. Jeff, go ahead. 
Yeah. I've got the money. Top, yeah? What do you guys need at? I think he's starting off. You want to give him the mic? But if you want to talk, we'll give him the mic. He's starting off again. Well, for Anna, Akim, Inna Kalam. Did this brother say he wants to fix the team? That's Zina, Aziz, and Rahim. These are first verses. This brother's in LA. I remember. He said it from memory. The tall brother. So you grab all the Qurans, you grab all the Bibles, you grab all the Torahs, you throw all these scriptures in the ocean today. The only book that will come back within today is the Quran, because millions and millions of people have memorized it. Myself personally, I haven't memorized the entire Quran, but my brother is a body, he's a reciter of the Quran. And I could say page 212, and you can tell me any verse in the Quran what it is. You can say page 212, or page 533, or this verse. I mean, total is 600. The original book right here in Arabic. But let me do this test real quick. What's the original That's the thing, is, like you said earlier, you said the Bible. So let, let's, let's do our test. Huh? Okay, yeah, let's do our test. So now, again, no prep work. Yes, this is from memory, off the cuff, right? Yes. First five verses. You so told he read the first five verses. Now I'll read it, inshallah. All right. So you want to read the first five? All right. Just yeah, he did already. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Yasin wal Quran al Hakim. Inna kana min al Mursalin. العزيز الرحيم لتوذر قوما ما قوذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون Okay, let me no, actually. Hey, hey, that, hey, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. As some, as a Christian, uh -huh. how do I know? Because there, there are four, there, there are five different representations of Muslims, just like there are representations of Christians. I got you. Go ahead. From prison, you have the five percent. Yeah, you yeah. have the Nation of Islam. You have Sunni, you. Shiite. You have Turk. What is the right Muslim? Good question. I got you. First. Um, okay. First, before we go there, how did you like that test? I like right. it. it was right. now, 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 tell me this. Find me a Christian. Go down here. Go to the church. Go to the go to the temple. Go to a, a Catholic place. Find me one Christian can do that with a Bible. I'm gonna pull a Bible chapter and verse and the original Cornaic Greek. They're gonna recite it. Here, probably, probably not. Anywhere in the world. Uh, this is live, right? Hey, there, there's a few that can go there for it. none. I believe. I, I just find bar for bar. Find me one. Bar for bar. All right. Is this life? Matter life. Fact, yeah. All right, matter of fact, I'm Christians gonna around the world, Catholics, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, Baptists, Methodists. I don't care what sect you are. Can I, can I name find somebody? me one Christian that has memorized the entire Bible, Old Testament and New, in Hebrew and Koine Greek, original language, and that can recite it like that. Bring them to me. Test. And the, my response to that: the only Christian that I would. I'm not gonna bet, but I would put my put my my belief in to, to go back and forth. It's Pastor Gino Jennings. All right, if we can if we can make that happen, I would love to. I would see love it. to see it. Let's make that happen, Pastor Gino. Friendly Jennings. challenge. Challenge. Come, we're gonna get a Bible in Koine Greek and Hebrew, original Old and New Testament, and we're gonna ask you to recite from any chapter we choose from your memory. You need to recite it. Challenge Pastor, sent. Pastor Gino Jennings. Pastor Gino. I, I, I would put, and, I would put and, that and on him. Let's do it. All right. Because I have gone around the world and I've never found a single Christian, not a Catholic, I, not a Methodist, that has memorized the Bible in its original language. I would go with him. Let's do it. And, and if it isn't, then you're going to believe that this is the preserved message. I'll put it like this. All right. If All you right. Can prove him wrong, All right. Then we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll come on. And you're Muslim. Set it up. Okay. Let's set it up on stream. Okay. Wow, watch Bob. Right, there we go. The brother's coming. Okay, but what, if another thing? Right. what if he proves them wrong? But he's too arrogant to accept it. No, no. Forget I'm, his acceptance. Yeah, it's, it's, all all about, it's all about you. Okay, cool. Right, we're going to do this, inshallah. Yep. Say inshallah. That was great. Yep. In the will, will of God. There you go. Thank you for having an open right. mind. I appreciate now, that. Right. Now, 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 now. To your question. I don't forget questions, but I just wanted to make sure right. we understand about this miraculous Quran and how it's preserved word by word, letter by letter. Right? Okay. Now, Shia, Sunni, NOI, 5%, Qadiani, Ismaili. Forget all that. Islam is based on true text, meaning the Quran. NOI, for example, for a time they believed the white man is devil. Right? right? Where is That's that when Malcolm Quran? X was part of the Nation of yeah. Islam, and Elijah Malcolm Muhammad. X left as Malik Shabbat. And he became a real Muslim. He became a real Muslim, including the son of Elijah Muhammad, Warren Dean Muhammad, left. Why? Because those teachings are not in the Quran. 
they believed in a reincarnation of Allah. Where did he come from? They come from a guy named Fareed Muhammad. Right? He's the one that deviated and made his own beliefs. But no, he, 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 he didn't he, read the Quran. That's the whole he, thing. Did he, he reinterpreted? No. He made his own belief and even forbid his followers from reading the Quran. And that's how Warren Muhammad. Read up on your history, bro. Give me history. I, I, I got I, you. Warren Muhammad, the son of Elijah Muhammad, he became a regular Sunni, as you would say, Muslim, when he read the Quran and he said, that's why we were forbidden to read the Quran. Right? Malik, Malik Shabazz, Malcolm X, the famous. He went to the NOI, no, right? and then when he went for Hajj and he saw Muslims and he read the Quran, he realized that that's a deviation. Right. So our Islam is one Islam. We're from different countries. He's from a different country, background, of course. different countries. Course. Fastest all spreading us, religion in the world. All of us yeah, are one Muslim ummah. How are we one? We believe in the Quran. Anybody here not believe in the Quran? We all believe in the Quran. We believe in the Quran. Anyone not believe in the Quran? All of us believe. Any of us, any of us pray to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? No. Never. No. Who do we pray to? Allah. Allah. Unlike Inshallah. Catholics who pray to Mary, unlike Christians who pray to Jesus, all of us Muslims pray to one God. All of us have one Quran. Ever see a Quran with other than 114 chapters? A Quran that doesn't begin with Al-Fatiha and with Al-Nas, 30 Jews, one Quran. We are one Ummah. Now there are people that can split and make their own deviations like the five percenters. They just make their stuff off of rap songs and five percent and numbers. But when you get to the Quran, they're proven. <laughs> you pray and you ask and you shall receive. Woman, Ahsan, Ukonam, Mimda, Ilma, Wamina, Sonny, Hawa, Ala, Inani.